Words without deeds fill a garden with naught but weeds. Everybody speaks in rhyme. How long has it been? Seven years? Seven? Maybe. You always were better with numbers. Feels like ten. Why are you giving me that look? You smell like blood. Ah, that's... nothing. <laughs> we share the same pain now, siblings in suffering. That's why you've come to see me, isn't it? What are you talking about? We dearly loved our fathers. Now they're both gone. Yours, killed this morning. Mine, this past spring, after the battle at the Fords. Many terrible things happened while you were away. Yes, he was killed. Do you know anything about it? He was murdered at dawn, at your home. No one knows who the culprit was. The common crowd blames it on the shop knock. Yes, the step monster. Others claim some woman killed him. Others still, they swear it was an outsider, a huge man in bloody clothes. Like you. Well, I think the most believable one at this point is... Some woman killed him, right? Because I think we're pretty damn sure at this point from the last playthrough that it's one of the kin themselves that killed him because he did some very taboo things. You don't suspect me, do you? Forget it. I don't want to talk about it. Why are you back? I think I now know why to take my father's place. And what will you do now? I'll find the killer, of course. You know what? You aren't going anywhere. I won't let you. Take a look at yourself. You can barely stand, let alone run around chasing some assailant. You're staying. Eat something, then get some sleep. When you wake up, we'll figure out the rest. How's that? Thank you. Wouldn't mind a bite or two. Clemency is born not from virtue, but from fear. Just take whatever you need. There must be something in the cabinet in the hall. Should I sleep upstairs? That's where the guest rooms used to be anyway. When we were kids. No, don't go upstairs. It's all locked. Ever since father died, I don't go up there. Use this bed instead. Lara, what's wrong? Why won't you look at me? Don't. Not now. Go and eat. You know it's September, don't you? Do you even remember what autumn is like here? You must eat, even if portions are small, or else you'll become feeble. Your father taught us this. I know, I know. Must I remind you that you need more sleep than usual? It's September. The steppe cools, the twire blooms. Have you forgotten? When did you last sleep? You're right, I haven't slept in a while, although I did take a nap when I traveled. Can't you spare an hour, or five? Yes, time is precious, so what? The worst is over. Are you afraid things might worsen still? They won't. Your father's killer won't flee. Until the next train, at least. Thank you, Laura. Although I can't shake the feeling something's not right. I think it's only that one out there in the hallway that they mentioned that has the stuff in it. And I remember that Clara is upstairs. Is it this one? Yeah. Man, I f Oh my god, a knife. Hey. Hello. Okay, I don't need two rusty scalpels. I'm just gonna drop that one. I feel rich with food, my god. Actually, you know what? Rather than just drop it on the ground, how about I put it in here? At least I can find it again. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Let's go see our friend. Which one is it? Is it death? Will no one believe me? Will no one reach out to me? Got any idea where she keeps bread? 
The shelves are empty. Hi, thief. It says a ripper. Sort of. I'm a surgeon. Do you believe in divination, Burrah? No, I don't. Well, that makes things harder, because you're going to do something awful, and I could have saved you the disgrace. But I guess you'd rather stay gloomy, self-centered, and bullheaded. Am I right? Actually, I don't think I want to go with that answer. I regret having that answer. I'm going to load my game. Okay, let's try this again. Hi, thief. Says a ripper, sort of. I'm a surgeon. Do you believe in divination? Of course. Can you see my future? I can. Go ahead, then. You'll spill a ton of blood, Burrah. Tremendous amounts. A river of blood. Family blood. Beloved blood. You'll drown this town in blood, and soon. Unless you trust me. I don't understand. It's simple, idiot. Whatever you want to do, don't. Drop your plans. You aren't bringing your father back. Saving lives is my business. No, it's mine. I'm a doctor. So am I. A better one than you. Want to bet? Listen to me. You need to leave town. Now. If you must stay, lay low. Do nothing. The less you do, the less grief you'll bring to those around you. Abandon your schemes. I'll handle it on my own. It'll be glorious. You'll see. What are you going to do? Whatever it takes. It's all going to hell, and soon. We're halfway there now. Just stay still. Trust me, will you? I'm your sister, your double, and I know what must be done. I know a great deal, Burrah. The future is open to me. Prove it. Your life lessons will prove me right, but heed my words. Whenever you want to do something, don't. You'll just make it worse. You'll be the demise of your hometown. You'll drown it with blood. No, this playthrough, I am not going to drown the town in blood. I'll think about it. It's been foretold I will spill a river of blood soon. Guess someone will find their death under my knife after all. An odd guest visited Lara's house. I like that picture of a rat, huh? And then they're just gone, aren't they? Hmm. They don't disappear just when I turn around, but they do disappear after I wake up. I remember that. Okay. Hmm. I'll sleep for two hours. The three that I killed, right? My name was Jacob Stair. Worked in shipping, two marriages, both happy. Brought up a daughter. Okay, I'm gonna kind of skip that. Before I said I'm sorry. Um, but I'm not gonna say that this time. They said they were looking f to find old Kane's killer. What Kane? Who did you expect to find there? Take it as a lesson, fool. This world is not for the likes of you. Damn, that's harsh. Ah, Bertrand. Right, I remember a note about that name and why it was so ill-fated. With a name like that, it must have been a tough life. It'll be better now. <laughs> Jesus. Did you enjoy your little chats? They don't blame you, as you saw. I suppose they haven't quite come to terms with their fates yet. Or perhaps they have. Death does that to people. It serves them right. I won't cry over them. I'll tell you a story. Once there was a man who wanted to fix everything. He begged on bended knee for a chance to turn back time. And when he got it, history repeated itself. Good job, we told him. That's your fate. He asked us 
once more. So? So we let him try once more, but with a catch. He who denies his fate will be punished. He'll keep living as a cripple, lame, wounded. See where I'm going with this? Did he try again, then? I don't remember, and I don't care. Even if he didn't, there probably wasn't a happy ending. You can't fight fate, Burrah. It's immutable. He was permanently crippled. I wonder how. Oh, so no matter what, we come back here. Hmm. If you deny your fate, you'll be punished. Didn't I manage to avoid killing them one time, though, and it just... It just didn't work, like they ended up dying anyway or something? But I don't remember being punished. Hmm. What should I do? I'm still gonna kill him. Self-defense. Oh, I love that their backs are to me. Is that what you wanted? See, you're a man of fate, Burrah. What are you trying to prove? You can't change fate. Have you heard the story of... Is it Oedipus? Fate is not to be fought, Beakhead. It must be overcome another way. Okay, so I only slept a tiny, tiny bit. Let's sleep another hour. That should be good. Ah, Laura did her thing. Told people that I'm, I'm good. What are you looking up at? Nice wallpaper? I guess? I think I'm fading. My clothes are worn out. Threadbare. Why did you go upstairs? I told you, there's nothing to see there. You have a guest. No one's there. Everything's locked up. Get some sleep this instant. Your hallucinations scare me. Some creepy brats up there just grinning. Said a bunch of nasty things to me. Boora, to bed, now. You're seeing non-existent girls. <laughs> Give it half an hour and you'll, <laughs> you'll imagine even scarier monsters. Have some pity on my nerves. Go to bed. I just slept. I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry. I'm not even sure there was a girl. Am I seeing things? A hundred years? No. No, too much. Forty? No. Not nearly enough. Things still look bad for you, Cub, but I managed to help a little. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy to be Cub again. I missed you, Lara. They'll come to their senses soon. You know how mobs work. I explained to the right folks you had nothing to do with Isidore's death. Women, mostly. They'll spread the news quick. Here in the flank, at least. In the chine, in backbone, you'll be safer. They'll come to their senses. But I'll forever be suspected of patricide. That's up to you, cub. Is it? You were gone for six years? You're an outsider now, and you came back on the wrong side. Maybe you didn't kill Isidore, but you killed someone, right? I didn't even need to see the blood. Your butcher's eyes told me everything. That thousand-yard stare. It was kill or be killed. You'd rather see me dead? You'll have to start over, Cub. Although, maybe not entirely. The kin must be eager to see you. With Isidore gone, someone has to take his place. Not just for your step people, but for us all. Thank you, Gravel, for everything.
who knocks on your door. Laura told her neighbors that I'm innocent. The inhabitants of the nearby districts won't attack me anymore. Or at night, who screams down your chimney? All right, 2 p.m., day one. Ah, we have griefs, people. Oh, but I'm hated here. But just, that's just like barely into the hated district. I should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, let's go do that. It's going to be very interesting. I can't wait to help my patients. Oh, I'm going to fix them up so good. One lockpick. Mm. I think I should keep it, because I think when I go into the place uh, to help bad grease men, I think there's a bunch of stuff I can lockpick there. Man, I have like no room. I can eat some stuff. Let's eat the biggest thing. That'd be the fresh fish, right? I don't think this will be wasting it. No, that was fine. I maybe should ditch the brown and black twire. I mean, it, there's not a lot of value to having those. I can get a bunch behind my soon-to-be base. The swivery is worth keeping, though. Soap, too. Uh, wait. Oh, that's Nara. And I think you will take soap. Yes. Lemon or a thimble. Let's get a... Th mm. Let's get a thimble. I remember that uh, fixing my clothes. I had a lot of trouble with that. I kept running out of thimbles and safety pins. Let's start stockpiling them. Finally, we're back together. I've been waiting for you, Bura. Will you have me now? Wait, I seem to recognize your face. Don't you remember me, old Boone? Well, I remember you, and I remember your words. So, will you have me now? You have a very clear speech for a bride. Do you live in the town? Your hands are so heavy. Shh. Don't touch me yet, or else the dress will tear and it's no good. The tears in the dress must appear on their own during the dance, just like the earth is torn apart when it releases herbs. I'm not touching you? So will you have me now? Will we be joined forever? But who are you? Fine. I'll wait for you to remember me. We'll meet again soon. I'll find you. I will wait for you, Pasagan. Seems the Burah prophecy is true, huh? Each Burah will spill a river of blood, or drown the town in blood. Maybe the wording varies. So it goes. So much death. Have you seen much death? Yes. We've never suffered this before. No, certainly not like this. Mark my words, the end is nigh. The wormwood star rises in the night sky. Perhaps it is the end. Mm, ah, you're about thirst. Mm-hmm. And they, they just give me a bottle. Thanks. Got plenty, though. I'd like to trade with you for my conscience's sake, but no one will trade with thieves or murderers. Barter's about trust. What 
does conscience have to do with it? Actually, no. I'm neither thief nor murderer, pal. You do well to remember that. Barter's a sacred tradition. You understand that it's not about objects at all, don't you? Nothing sacred about it. It's just old. You're weird. Your fate won't improve my life. Only my own trust. Get it? When I trust someone, I get lucky. So good things come my way. Hmm. Fine. I'll clear my good name soon. Then we can barter. I mean, we still can barter. But yeah, I'm keeping these water bottles. I'm not going to need bandages. What? I'm going to take damage? Hell no. Call it right now. This entire playthrough, I'm not going to take any damage. <laughs> uh, no. That's a joke. Don't hold me to that. Probably a chest around here. I'm not exactly sure where. Hmm, it might be up. It's fine, I'll just leave it. Trade, 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 trade. I need to trade. I got no room. How fares your kind, Hatonger? Bearla, how fares your kind? We the Hatonge must help each other out. You're our kin. You shouldn't get into fights, Tonger. You'll always lose, no matter who remains standing. I'd rather lose standing. Think, Tonger. If they kill you, then it's very bad, right? But if you kill them, it's still bad. Everyone will hate you. They won't let you in, sell you food or barter. You'll be hunted. Do you need a wolf's life? Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Don't get into fights, Anente. Clear up your name first. As time passes, people will accept you. Then do as you please. Bearla, let Mother Bodo caress your step. Oh. They gave me a charm, thank you. Ooh, my knife is pretty fucked. That's a bad thing, actually. Uh, I maybe want this grindstone. What does it take to repair a knife that's this low? I think it takes a razor, which I don't have. So I don't know if it's worth getting this grindstone. I don't know what else I can use springs on right now, though. Broken scissor for some soap. Uh, no. Charm for six. Can get a fingernail for a charm. Fingernails are good. Very, very good. I don't know if it's worth giving a charm, though. It might be better to give two needles. What are you about? Is this your money, sir? I think you dropped your purse. Ah, oh, right. Thank you for money. Ah, oh, right. Let's not go to Sabarov. I think they're just going to put me in jail and waste my time. Hey, Raisin Boy. You poor thing. We still think you're good. You feel sorry for me? You're an angel. I do. 
Likewise. Tata brought kittens yesterday. Six. Do you want a kitten? Right, a kitten. Exactly what I need. I really do actually want that kitten. Coffee person. Mm. I don't think I want any of those things. Ah, oh, you're the soap person. Everyone's losing their minds. Hell, they'll start looking for ghosts and boogeymen soon. Shop knocks don't exist. It's just the damned twire blooming, making our heads swim. Do you know who started the rumor? Who could ever figure that out now? You know, I swear I recognize your face. Who are you? I'm art to me. Isidore Burrah, son. I have returned. <laughs> I have returned. Man, I have like zero freaking space in my inventory. Almost. If I'm going to loot that house, I need to get rid of some stuff. Okay, I am going to drop those two herbs. They don't have much value. I'm not hungry enough to really eat any more food. For some pemmican. That's worth it. Okay, people hate me over here, so I gotta make sure there's no people just like right on the other side. Let's string some water. Hmm, there's somebody there. I can go around the back though. Let's sneak. Eh, maybe not. I don't think I need to sneak. Ooh, there's a bunch of people here. I think they're just... They're a bunch of kids, though. I don't think they would attack me. Would they? Would they run or anything? No, they're cool. They probably won't trade with me, though. Oh, they will. Hmm, if I get rid of the broken scissors, I can save some space, too. Needles would be good. Yeah, I'll save a little bit of space. Mm, okay, that's good. All right, let's go help out our friends, huh? So, just a reminder, these are the people that are responsible for burning an herb bride alive. So, you know. Yep. A doctor from Bad Grief? Tell me what happened. One of ours got cut. Uh, do you have water? Alcohol does nothing to reduce pain, idiot. I do have a scalpel shut up so I can work. You slaughtered a living woman. We avenged Bura. Peacework himself grabbed her. Don't you glare at me like that. Come on, help the man. Can't you see he's about dead? Do what Bad Grief said. Some doctor he sent us. Shut up. I'm on it. Mm-hmm. Badger's henchmen were looking for a shop knock by testing women with fire. Okay. So I got a nice rusty scalpel. Mm. I don't know 
if I want their blood. I don't have much inventory space. I don't really need just a small amount of herbs. I'd rather just go look for them somewhere else. So I'm going to leave their blood in there. Um... I'll take the bloody lockpick. There we go. Yeah. And then I'll uh, take the brain. Oh, shit. They can live without a brain, right? What, what have you done? You monster! I've just gotten started. You're next. So what will it be? You can lie down on your own, or I can help you lie down. Oh wow, they really don't like me now. In this area. I don't know how low it was before, but I think it completely bottomed out. Nothing on you. Oh, it's so cute, it's so tiny. I'm glad I killed him this time. I thought maybe I could talk to Bad Grief about them or something on my last playthrough. But like, why? It didn't, you can't do that anyway, but... It was pretty unlikely anyway. I really should have just dealt with them myself, and now I have. Lots of little things, which is very good, because I don't have much inventory space. There's also not much stuff in here at all. Yeah, not amazing loot. I mean, it's still okay. I'm gonna keep looting, definitely. Hey, did I not talk to you before? Oh right, that's on your way out there like, hey, take a look around. Okay, thank you. I should burgle this place. Okay, fair enough. Thanks. Ooh, a lot of locked things here. Good stuff. A fish? Weird place to store a fish. A fresh fish, anyway, but... Oh, damn. Uh, okay, hold on. Um... <laughs> Uh, let's drink the Twyrine. All of it. Ah, this location here. This is where Partner is. Right. I think that's just about the only time Twyrine has ever marked anything that's not just a cache. That scum had neither heart nor brain, so he has no need for his guts, either. <laughs> I'm the man of my word. I said I'd cut out anything he didn't need, so I did. <laughs> I love that. And I wonder why people call me the Ripper. Okay, um, am I going to eat something? Am I going to ditch something. I guess, honestly, the swivery really isn't that important. I can find a pretty good amount of that. Mm. I think I can toss the rusty, rusty scalpel, right? And the bloody bandage. Those really just aren't that important. That's a decent amount of space. Yeah. Hmm. I'll make some room for the ton. Uh, let's take this. I don't think it's going to be a waste. Yeah, it's not a waste and that saves a lot of space. The fish would be a waste, though. I think anything would be a waste, really, except maybe I could eat the eggs. It's not going to free up a lot of space, though. Ah, oh, I can't eat the second one. It'd be a waste. 
Okay, well this is good. Man, I have a lot of fishing hooks. Oh, I felt like I had more, but it's only four. Either way, this is really good stuff to trade with the kids. Um, Let's go upstairs. Tourniquet. I mean, I guess I am hurt. I'm just going to use that just to get it out of there. It's not that good of an item. Hoping to find some clothing would be nice. Another fish. Oh, at least it will stack. Such a tiny little thing. What do you got in you, buddy? Three monies and a safety pin. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we just saved some room by breaking a lockpick. Why do you have that picture in the children's room? Like, just why? You just want to give them nightmares? Holy crap. Uh, man, this is good stuff. Anything I want to dump. Anything that doesn't matter. Uh, hmm. I, I don't want to get rid of the broken ampules because they only take up one spot and they're going to be useful for the dead item shop. Hmm. I mean, I could ditch the bandage. Like, that's not that important. It's kind of nice. I don't want to ditch seven empty bottles. That's really nice for making tinctures later. I'd like to have a stockpile of those. Mm. I think the ton just doesn't restore that much hunger. It's going to be a little bit of a waste, but let's drink it. Last one. Ooh, this is an easy one. For a second I thought I saw a sleep action that I could do, like sleep in the child's bed in this abandoned place. <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah, they lock it behind me. Okay, I... Fucking hell, I'm doing really well. I mean, look at my stocks of food. I have zero hunger. I have an egg, a pemmican, three kashix, a smoked fish, two fresh fish, three smoked meat, and toast. Five fishing hooks, marbles. Like, I got a good amount of trading stuff, too. I already have four morphine. Shit, I should probably trade it right now, huh? Here's a bunch of kids. Let's do it. Tweezers are good for repairing some stuff. Let's get the Kashik. What do you like? You don't give a lot for fishing hooks. Probably not worth it. Marbles, though. Yes. Okay. Hazelnuts, yes. I'm not I'm not trading away the safety pin. I've realized those are quite rare. Peanuts. Let's get a fingernail. Another fingernail? For uh no, I can't trade anything I want. You give a decent amount for fishing hooks. Smoked fish? It would stack with something I already have. Plus a fingernail. Yeah. Peanuts. I can get soap? Nah. Okay. 
Mm. Well, I still need to wait for some time to pass before people don't want to kill me. Let's take the boat down to Bad Grief's place. I'm curious how Grief's going to take the news that I killed them on purpose. They're probably going to be glad about it. That doctor's quick on the draw. Already shot someone. So much for his oath. Let us rest on the mountain. Oh, let us rest by the river. That's the song you people sing when times are hard, isn't it? How's peace work? I assume he kicked the bucket. He meant nothing to you then, great? I mean, he meant nothing to you then? Great. Hmm? Did he not say please and thank you or something? Well, your man Peacework is trash. He got cut for burning a woman. Oh. Folks have lost their minds, I'm telling you. And Peacework's never been friends with his own head. What'd you do to him? He's dead, friend. He told me cut out anything he didn't need, so I cut it all out. <laughs> so you're a funny man, huh? Funny man. Got to keep my eyes peeled around you. Great. Wonderful. So what's the plan now? Plan is to live. Live and breathe and thieve and leave. What'd you find inside piecework? Just curious. This. Your men are fond of shivs, huh? Even an incendiary bullet would be less cruel. Well, that's people for you. I've been wondering what our kind townsfolk fashion those little barbs from. I see, I see. This explains who broke into Warehouse 8 last week. The thread unravels. I'll make a note of this. If you find more shivs, bring them to me. Don't give them to the kids, even if they offer bullets. I know. I've been offered a good deal. I think I've done all I can for today. Now all that remains is to wait until the coast is clear. A surgeon is not the kind of man to mess with, and bad grief was reminded of that, but he can't help my situation. If I'm desperate, uh, I can find all I need at someone's house. Mm -hmm. Am I really basically done for the day? And it's only 4.18 p.m.? Oh my god, that feels so good. What just got marked? Wait, what the fuck is this? The clinking of dice can be heard here? What? That didn't happen before. Did it? I'm pretty sure it didn't. What the fuck does that mean? It's not the fellow traveler, is it? Well, I have more fingernails. Uh, what do you got to trade? Oh, right, you don't trade, you gotta buy things. Yeah, I'm good. Hmm. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, because I need to go eat. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm very intrigued what the hell this is. A clinking of dice.